Hello everyone, if you want to watch detective shows, detective movies, or perhaps you want to read detective books in English, then watch this video first because this list of vocabulary will help you a lot. I'm going to introduce some easier words and some more difficult words, so no matter what your level is, this video will help you. So first off, a word you might know, that is crime. A crime is a bad thing that somebody does and they get in trouble with the police. So someone that does this is a criminal. And when you're watching a detective show, they might use the word suspect. And suspect is the person that they think is the criminal. Later, they might be wrong, but a suspect is someone that you think is a criminal. So, suspect is a noun, but with a bit of a different word stress, we have the word suspect. And suspect is a verb. So, somebody might say, I suspect he is the criminal. So, that means he is the suspect. And quite often, the suspect or perhaps the criminal in these shows or movies, uh, quite often they are murderers. So if you murder somebody, that means to kill somebody, and the person that does that is the murderer. Another type of criminal you might have on these shows is a thief. So a thief is somebody who steals something, who takes something that is not theirs. And another common type of criminal on these shows is a con artist. So a con artist is somebody who tricks people to taking their money or taking something from them. So for example, um, if they go into a workplace and pretend to be a worker there, they have, you know, the ID and they have their story and then they trick this company into giving them something, but really they are not that thing, they're just faking. That is a con artist. So that was some words for people doing the crime, but for people on the other end, the people having crimes done to them, those are the victims. So for example, if you have a murderer, you have somebody who kills somebody, the person that has been killed, <laughs> This is the victim. So in a crime scene, so the crime scene is the area where the crime has happened. The detective will enter the crime scene and say, ah, there is the victim on the floor. Now who is the suspect? And when they're in the crime scene, they will be looking for clues. So a clue is some kind of hint to let the detective know who the criminal is or what happened in this situation. So a clue could be a weapon. So a weapon is like a gun or a knife and the detective might find the weapon and this is a clue because now they have some idea who maybe used this weapon. And on the weapon, they might find some fingerprints so uh, when you touch something, you leave behind your fingerprint. So they will have a look at the fingerprints. They might also look at footprints. So when somebody's walking, if someone's been killed and you see some steps going away from the crime scene, these are the footprints. And on the crime scene, they will be looking for evidence. Uh, so a clue is something that makes them think, hmm, maybe it's this person. But evidence is something you can use to prove or to show that somebody is a criminal. And to find this evidence, you will have a forensic team. And forensics is the science of finding clues or finding evidence in a crime scene. So they might be having a look at DNA, they might be having a look at fingerprints. Um, there's lots of different things they do and they will be looking for evidence. 
And once the detectives have their clues, then they will go looking for the criminal and they will be trying to catch the criminal. So usually when we're searching for someone who's done something wrong and then ah, we grab them, normally we say they have caught the criminal or the criminal has been caught and then they will be arrested. So arrested is when the police or a detective think that somebody is a criminal. So they have found their suspect, they have caught their suspect and they might put on some handcuffs. So these are the things that stop you from moving your wrists and they will say you are coming with us and that person has been arrested. And if they are not arrested, then we use the expression to get away with something. So if the police do not catch them, then the criminal has got away with murder or has got away with the crime. And that means that they have managed to run away and they haven't received any punishment. So you often hear in these shows somebody saying, you will not get away with this. So that means, you know, you will be caught, you will be punished. You will not get away with this. And the last expression is to solve the case. So when a crime happens and the detectives are looking for the suspect, in one situation, this is a case. So they'll find the victim who perhaps has been killed or murdered. They're looking for the murderer. This is the case. And then when they catch the murderer, when they arrest the criminal or arrest the suspect, then they will say, we have solved the case. They have enough evidence. They know it's this person. Then they can say, we solved the case. So that means the job is over. It's finished. And sometimes, especially on these TV shows, they'll say case closed because when you start a new case, the case uh, is opened and when it's uh, finished, they say case closed. We got the criminal. Okay, so that is all the expressions that I wanted to introduce today. So hopefully these will help you to understand detective shows, movies or books or anything else about detectives and police and crime. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, uh, if it's your first time here, then please subscribe. And also, if you hit the bell button, you will get alerts when I make new videos. Also, if you check in the description of this video, you'll find a link for my podcast. And there you can do lots of listening practice. So thank you all very much for watching today, and I'll see you back here next time.